Hi everyone, today I will be making one of my most favorite Vietnamese salads which is gỏi bắp chuối or banana blossom salad This recipe is from my mom who in my opinion makes the best banana salad in the world As you know, banana blossom is very expensive in the west but now that I'm in Vietnam, it's very easy to find at any local markets and the seller will slice it for me How convenient is that? If you can't find banana blossom for this recipe, you can use red cabbage or just normal cabbage instead. Also shred into very thin slices like this. You can soak the thinly sliced cabbages into salted water for about 15 minutes until wilted and then wash again a few times to remove the salt. The outer layer of a banana blossom is normally purple red, but for younger one it could be green like this. Basically, she uses a huge peeler and slide the banana blossom into a bucket of cold water. Putting some vinegar or lime juice in the water will help prevent the banana blossom from discoloring. So now I have the key ingredients already prepared. It's gonna be very easy. So let's begin. Ellen's recipes. You will need 200 grams or 7 oz of pork thinly sliced and 200 grams of shrimps peeled and deveined. Season each bowl with a teaspoon of minced garlic and a teaspoon of minced shallots. Also add some pepper, half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of chicken stock. Mix well and set aside for about 15 minutes. If you can't eat pork, you can replace with chicken or just skip it. In a pan, add about a tablespoon of vegetable oil and fry some minced garlic until fragrant. Then add the pork and stir fry for about 5 to 10 minutes until fully cooked. By seasoning and stir frying the pork, it will be very tasty when you add it into the salad. When the pork is completely cooked through, transfer it into a clean bowl. Return the pan back to the stove, add some more vegetable oil and stir fry the shrimps until they turn completely orange. Because shrimps cook faster than pork, that's why we stir fry them separately to avoid overcooking the shrimps. Then turn off the heat and let cool. To make the fish sauce vinaigrette, in a molten pesto, add 2 cloves of garlic, 2 red hot chili peppers, and half a tablespoon of sugar. Pound it into a wrap paste. In a separate bowl, add 1 tablespoon of sugar and 2 tablespoons of fish sauce. Then squeeze one fresh lime to get two tablespoons of lime juice. You can adjust a little bit, add more or less sugar or lime juice to your taste. Stir well to dissolve all the sugar. Now add the garlic and chili paste on top so it will be a float. That's it. Very simple but tasty vinaigrette for any kind of salad. For any Vietnamese salad, you always need fresh herbs. Today I use mint leaves, which I have washed a few times and drained. Spread the banana blossom on a plate and top with the fresh mint. Then place some stir-fried pork on top and some of the stir-fried shrimps. Then drizzle some of the fish sauce vinaigrette or dressing on top and adjust into your taste. The good thing about banana blossom is that even though it doesn't really have a special taste, its great texture will absorb all the good flavors from the stir-fried pork and shrimps and also from the vinaigrette. Then finally top it up with some crushed roasted peanuts. To serve, give it a good toss with chopsticks. Break a piece of rice cracker or a prawn cracker and top it up with an amazing salad. Mmm, I can't wait to give it a try. Oh my god, it's amazing. 
Just like the excellent dishes that you have cooked with my recipes to photo and upload it on Instagram, Facebook and Google Plus with hashtag Helen Recipes. Hey Lisa, your cat call looks so good. Some of you are really kitchen holics. From the photos, I can really tell that you have actually put a lot of time in making the dish. Thank you for sharing your great photos with us. And don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel for more delicious Vietnamese food. And if you haven't already, get a copy of my cookbook, which is available in small as an ebook and a printed book. Every recipe is linked to a video demonstration on YouTube through the QR code. It's a great gift for anyone who loves to cook and for yourself too. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.